guys, I'm Maya. And I'm Karen. And we're here today to do a, a gardening haul. For a new gardener. For a new gardener. All the things that we wished that we had started with. And known about. Before. And known about before. So this year will be our second year gardening. Um, and we're just going to get into it and show you. Um, we basically made a gift, basically a gift basket. So we're just going to go through it with you guys to show you some of the things like if you were giving a beginner gardener a gift of things that they could get started with, just some simple things, um, simple, easy things, um, things that we would have, if I had thought about it when we started last year, I would have picked these things up. But we started, we started our garden late, like late April, um, late April, early May. Um, we put our garden, we started our garden in the wrong area of our backyard. Um, as you'll see in other videos, we did our garden over on a side that is covered with lots of trees, so it didn't get a lot of sunlight, and we didn't start a lot of our vegetables from seed, so we were spending a lot of money and time buying um, the vegetables as as plants and as you well know the average plant I mean if you like doing that the average plant at Lowe's that's what we went to was like $2.98 um, but if you grow them from seed you pay $1.99 or $1.58 for a packet of seeds and then you can get like 72 plants out of it if you're using the big um, plant box so we're just going to get into it one thing that's one thing that I would start with in a gift would be something that's easy to grow because last year we grabbed so many different um it was also we grabbed so many different and they were being grown in the wrong part of the yard yeah so seed we didn't packets know by the way needed sun and what didn't need sun and what sun killed and what water killed and so you need a plant that's kind of not infallible but <laughs> They it's, can take some damage and still not die. And still not die. Right. Because last year, not only did we plant in the wrong area, we were trying to plant everything. Zucchini, um, uh, bell peppers, everything in the shade. And, and we did learn later on that some plants that you grow together cannot be grown together. Yeah. So they will fight for dominance. Oh, for instance. Corn and cucumber. Corn and cucumber. The cucumber has a little spiral thing and it grabbed yeah. the corn shoot and dragged it It down. was dragging the corn down. So that so it could get sun. Note to self, do not put uh, cucumber vines or zucchini vines because they do the same thing next to corn they just pull them down oh and they also pulled down the bean yeah yeah they would reach over like well out of their reach to grab the beans because they like... were literally they were just trying to climb up to get more sun but the seeds that i would suggest starting with is an herb and i would suggest starting with dill yeah. dill last year for us made us feel successful you, if you don't like dill, I recommend you do not grow dill mm -hmm. because one dill pocket will give you a lot of dill. This gave us a whole bucket, a whole planter box filled with dill. And, and we but didn't it even know we were going to get that much dill. No, and also it did a really good thing too. It was shading our basil and parsley. At and first mint. we thought we it was and mint. At first we thought it was killing it. Like but suffocating it. Suffocating all the other ones. But it really did act as a shade uh, from the heat. Um, Until the other seeds were old enough to fend for themselves. Cells, yeah. So this dill um, was a really good thing to start out with. So I if you really don't like dill, but you need your mint and stuff to grow, grow it in the same planter oh, and it'll but just if you, cover it. Right, but if you grow peppermint, grow it by itself. Yeah, peppermint. Put it in its own planter put it in his own raised bed or whatever the case may be because peppermint is like cucumber except it doesn't drag things down it just appears everywhere everywhere it just grows everywhere it's unstoppable <laughs> what seeds did you have she's obsessed with sunflowers she keeps buying them and send help but um, actually you didn't notice that's a different sunflower i know that's why I said sunflowers, not mammoth sunflowers or tiny sunflowers. I just said sunflowers. Those grew for us. Yeah, we had lots of sunflowers. People lots. Like, They're so pretty. Yeah. Like our neighbors, not actual people because COVID. But like, <laughs> people would look over the fence over our fence, like, oh, this is so nice. nice. And they're growing above, like, the fence. Yes. You can see them on the other side. But this year, we're actually, um, my goal is to have a sunflower wall going 
hang along our fence. Um, just, you know, uh, we are, as we said in one of our other videos, we are pleading and begging to the, um, bees. the bees, the hummingbirds, the come, wasps, the pollinators. Just, the pollinators, just come to the garden. Yeah, we might go outside and be like, you can sting me if you want, just pollinate. <laughs> yes, but um, the sunflowers also made us feel really successful. So I think those are two really great items oh, to give us a gift. sunflower seeds, so it's technically food. I don't know how to do that, but oh, one thing that, one little quick tip, when the sunflowers are done blooming, don't do like I did and chop their head water. off mm -hmm. um, and no throw violence. all of them away. It wasn't until afterwards that I saw videos where you let them dry in the sun and then you pull all the seeds out. If I had done that, I would have lots and lots, lots, of and, lots and lots we of sunflower seeds. We like to make seeds. jokes while we're making it and reminds us of Little House on the Prairie. And I was like, we lost food for winter. So she was like, this is food. <laughs> Oh yeah, and we were saying if we really had to harvest everything last year to eat, we would have starved because yeah, we didn't have enough. We didn't. Have, we, we had, had green water beans, and we had also like we had like uh, we dry were, goods in the house, but we had no vegetables to go with it, so we would probably be very ill. Yeah, we had everything else. I mean, we of course we went, we went to, to the, the farmers store, market yeah. and bought. <laughs> yeah, but, like from the garden, garden we would have yeah. We would have started. We, we had, had to live beans. for the garden. From the garden, we would have had herbs galore. So but, we could make water soup. Yeah, with herbs and um, green beans. And green beans. We got we harvested probably about six and green beans per tomatoes. day. So I'm gonna go first this time. Now, you didn't want to go to last time, did you? No. Oh, I did. Oh, you go first. I don't really know what the gift. Is. Okay, so I'll go first. Oh, so oh, no. these are I. This is a set by Fiskers. So if you're doing okay, so this is the Fiskers um, garden tool set. Um, I wish I had this. If you're doing a raised bed, this will come in handy because you don't have to worry about lugging around the big tools. You can just put this in your bucket it's and just cumbersome to use a big shovel in a raised bed. Right. So here you have the trowel, the cultivator, and the transplanter that is also measured. So you can see that there. It has it the indent indentures on this side. Well, it has indentures on that side too. If I were giving a gift, I would give this to someone as well. I'll put this in the bucket. Uh, cause we use scissors all last semester, uh, semester. <laughs> but these are pruners. Um, and so you can use them to cut. Uh, also, you can use them to cut off your vegetables when you're ready to bring them. Oh, go ahead. Gift that popped. Like if you have tomatoes and you need to cut off your one tomato, you would use this or, um, she like said one tomato. No, you don't cut the plant the plant from the root. That's what I meant. No, yeah, I like know. You cut the plant from the root, you just lost all the tomatoes for the rest of the year. But you just cut one tomato off with these. Also, if you're doing cut flowers, really good, because I'll be doing that too this year with the zinnias, marigolds, sunflowers, and what have you. The next ideal item to have as a gift, if you're a beginning gardener, are gloves. You know, at first I thought, let me be one with the dirt and the soil. And that was great until it takes five, 10, 15 minutes, depending on how long you've been outside to actually clean your hands and get under your nails and it get everything. It doesn't dye your skin, but you're like, done. And then you look at the back of your hand, like where'd all this dirt come from? And, and then your nails and everything. So a pair of gloves would be handy. This, you guys probably have seen from previous videos, but it's basically, um, like each one is like, it looks like it's the eggshell thing, except, but it's like pre-made. And it's made out of biodegradable paper and stuff like that, like trees or stuff. So when you put your plants in it and your dirt in it and your water and stuff and the plant grows to excess and you need to cut it off to plant it, you, this can go in the dirt with you because it will just break down like in the soil with the plant. And yeah. just going to explain that. And that, that's if you're in, this is for if you're using seeds. If you're starting plants from seeds like we are, this is a really great thing because you don't have to worry about moving it to the next thing, as she said. Once you use them, they're easy. Once they're wet and soaking wet and everything, they're easy to work with. And I believe that these were like hmm, $2 at Lowe's. That's where we went. So it doesn't cost very much. You can also use empty egg shells, you can, cartons, if you eat eggs. Yeah, we use empty egg cartons. We've used um, water, um, old water bottles. You can't put that in the ground though. Um, and what else? 
water we used to use. Oh, yogurt empty yogurt. Empty yo empty yogurt containers. Which isn't biodegradable, but you can still plant it. Yeah, it's easy to squeeze the bottom of the cup and get the roots and everything out so you can plant it. Um, yeah, I've used empty cardboard boxes, little small ones that I saved. So there are a lot of things. You don't have to buy these, but these are convenient when you're running out of all the other things that you've recycled. Dirt is your best friend when gardening. Everybody knows that gardening has a great deal of dirt. But you might not know that sometimes when you use the dirt in your own garden, it's not as, what is the word? It might not have all the nutrients. Yeah, and it's not loose. And so you're just growing it and you're putting that on top of your thing. But sometimes it can cause um, an annoyance to the plant you're trying to grow. But this dirt is like made for the thing. It maybe has some type of fertilizer. And it's good for it. when you're getting started with your seedlings. So yeah. if you if you if you're use, buying dirt for your raised bed, you probably wouldn't buy this, or maybe you would mix it with all that kind of dirt. But this is literally if you're starting your seeds, starting from seed. So you um, just take little cups, like a we used a measuring cup, and then just scooping it into each one. Yeah. We have a video about that. But oh, let's put some of these things up right there. Uh -huh. right. <laughs> and last but not least, the bucket. The bucket. It has um, a lot of purposes actually. You there's water so with many. It. There's so many purposes. One, these I use the bucket to, um, you know, if you have a wheelbarrow or whatnot, but and you're carrying this with you really fast, you can use your bucket to mix your soil before you put it into your raised bed. Um, the other thing you can do is you can use this as a compost bucket. You can put holes in the bottom, multiple holes, and then you would just put a little bit of dirt or uh, on the bottom, leaves, dirt, whatever compost, um, compost that you're using, you're starting with. And then after that, you would fill it with your compost on top until you fill the bucket. Like, and the other thing too is you can carry, use it to carry all your tools in. You can use this, like I said, for compost. You can use this for uh, carrying your items around from your each of your raised beds. You can use this to give a gift to someone who's beginning a garden. There's so many different purposes for this. And this at Lowe's, it's only like $2, two or $3. So we're, we are not professional gardeners. We just started and we're really excited because I think we learned a lot from the mistakes last year. I mean, we had some major mistakes last year and then we had some major wins too. One other thing, just quickly. Um, I also put seeds in here and started seeds in here. I filled it with dirt and then started some of the seeds in here. Uh, the only problem was is when it was time to transplant those seeds. So, but other than that, you have a solution for that. You're good. You, yeah, if you know how to manage that, but you're great. Did. We didn't manage it well. So <laughs> yeah, but also I think our problem was majorly sunlight. But anyway, I hope you found this video hel uh, helpful and. Uh, we're two beginning gardeners in our going into our second year. Forcing our family to help us. Yeah, forcing everybody in our family to help us. And um, this year we'll probably have about, well, we have quite a few raised beds that we're working with and, and we're learning how to manage those raised beds that, and everything. So I'm looking forward to it. It's almost spring and it's almost time to get planting. So I'm really excited about that. We have a lot of seedlings to put out, lots and lots of tomatoes. We have 72 tomato plants right now. And, and that's not including all of the seeds in it. Yeah, that's not including all of the so seeds that have to be. So we get all those tomatoes. Does anyone want any? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, you guys have a, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to all our new subscribers and we will see you. Oh, make sure you like, comment. Thank you for all the comments, by the way, and share. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.